It's going to be pretty heavy. All right? It weighs would, more than you do. Would you rather me help you hold it? Mom, she said she wanted to hold it. You both want to hold it? But she said she didn't want to so You don't want the, the hand. hand. Not okay, the hand. I'll give you the tail. Not the hand. Okay, I'm so recording. what I'm going to have you all, once I get her up and ready, you all are going to line up side by side. So we're going to test it right now. You get right here. Line up right by her side. I'm recording. Like you all are the best buddies. No, nope. I mean together, shoulder to shoulder. That's how you're going to stay. And then I'm going to put the head in on this end, and I'm going to put the tail end on this end, and you're going to rest it over your shoulders, okay? The tail? The tail end. Yeah, you're going to rest it over your shoulders, and you're going to hold it in your hand, okay? So, if you get nervous, or you don't want to hold the snake anymore, you just let me know, okay? I'm Chris. What's your names? Anna and Gabriella. Anna and Gabriella. Well, I'm going to call you Peanut Butter Head. And jelly head. How's that? Is that okay? Because I can't remember this. Now let's see if I can get her unwrapped here. I don't want to get nervous. Hmm? I don't want to get ner <laughs> nervous. I might get a little bit nervous. Okay. Would it be better if there were more people? Yeah. Uh, not necessarily. Okay. I didn't know if maybe this young fellow would want to hold the snake. Okay. Well, no. it's going to so be He says no. Somebody, uh, there are no people like Anna. Okay, so you're going to get on the other side. Let's see. Yeah, you come over here. Come on over and turn around. You come on over here, turn around. But you got to be shoulder to shoulder. Remember, you're not getting the head in. I'm going to be right with you, okay? Nothing's going to happen, but I need you to be right together, okay? Just, just keep your fingers away from his mouth. Okay, you ready? Oh, oh nice oh, curves. Nice oh, curves. Wow. I'm going to. I'm going to. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, gosh. This is heavy. Okay, now you hold the head up. You hold it, don't hold it by the head. Hold it right here. And just let it go where it wants. Okay, get a picture real quick. Oh, that's good. Perfect. It's heavy. Good. Are you done? There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want it, so you want it right on your shoulder. <laughs> okay, done. You want me done. to take it back? Yeah. Say thank okay. you. Thank Say thank okay, you. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Easy work, right? Surely not. Uh, it's only 60 pounds. It's heavy, huh? She's 52. Oh, gosh, she said she only weighs 30. I would think no. she weighs more. The Anna is 52. Thank you. Now, guess whose turn it is? Should we, should we make them hold it? Yeah. I don't yeah. think they're going to. No, not me. No, no. <laughs> I don't want that. But Bill, if you want, go ahead. I, I don't. It's, it's only if you want to. Oh you, my gosh, that was heavy. We usually kid with the parents because the parents are like, no way. Oh, I oh, no. It, it wouldn't be. She's doing that whole summer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's been bringing snakes over to our house. So little garter snakes. Little garter snakes? I see. Right. Um, so, what are we going to do? Are we going to hold the snake's name? Stella. Stella. Stella's a Burmese python. And she is right around 10 feet. And she could get up to 18. But she'll probably be more around 13 or 14. And and so, at that point, she'll be over 100 pounds. And she'll go to school? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> she will attend the school? <laughs> Almost. Why does she have slits on her? Well, this is just part of her scales that have popped up a little bit because she has some mesh screening on her enclosure where we put her. And she rubs up against those and pops some of those scales out. So you saw her tongue, right? Now you see these things in front of her face here? See the nostrils and then those little slits right above her mouth? Yeah. Those are heat pits. So she can tell about a one or two degrees difference change in temperature. So if a rat comes by or a rabbit or a chicken, she'll smell it. She can tell the temperature difference and that way she can lock on and bam, get it. Because even though they constrict, to kill their prey, they have to bite it first. 
So she has, how many teeth do you think she has? Uh, two. Two? <laughs> what do you think? What do you all think? She has about between 80 and 100 teeth. <gasps> and they all go back towards her body. So they all curve backwards. How would you like to have to And what happens while they do that is so if she gets you on the hand, hold your hand out. If she goes, and you try to pull your hand out, the work. teeth get thicker or get deeper and deeper, and you can't pull your hand out. So the rat can't get away, nothing can get away. And after she bites them, it's very fast. She's moving slow now, but if we had a rat here, she wouldn't be. She would take it, and then she'll go, and you won't even see the animal. All you'll see is a big rolled up stomach.